How's everybody doing? Doing great, great. Coach, I'm Brandon Helwig. Uh, I'm with Rivals.com. Welcome home to Orlando. Hey, man, I appreciate it. Feels yeah, good. Yeah, I guess. Can you kind of talk about, you know, growing up in Orlando and kind of your perception of UCF during that time period? Were you a guy that maybe went to some camps over there? Were you recruited at all? What was kind of your your perception of the program being an Orlando guy? Well, first of all, I've always been a fan of UCF. You know, growing up in the area, being a hometown guy, um, I grew up on the west side of Orlando, the Pine Hills area. Um, I actually went to some games when they played in the Citrus Bowl. Uh, so those are the, those are the good old days. Um, one of my close friends, Alex Haynes, he's a former player here, um, went to Evans High School and uh, me and him are staying close. So I, I'm, I'm glad I get to represent his program. I always want to be a part of it. So uh, I'm, I'm glad to be back here. Welcome, Coach Trace Trelko, Sons of UCF. Take us behind the scenes a little bit. How did you get connected to Coach Malzahn? What was that call like when he reached out to you about a position? Yeah, so in 2018, this is this is a crazy story. So 2018, um, uh, me and my wife, uh, we, were, we were GAs at um, Western Kentucky University, and there was an opportunity for me to get an analyst job at Auburn. Um, and I went up there and I guess I, put, I got a chance to meet T. Will, got a chance to meet um, Coach Malzahn. And um, hopefully I put a good impression on them. They got, gave me a chance to call back. They called me back here. And um, I actually thought I almost had the job at Auburn, but you know, I was blessed to have a full-time job at Western Kentucky. So to take care of my family, I had a chance, had the opportunity to take that full-time job at Western. So um, they called me back. Um, I had an opportunity. It's crazy how the connection works, actually. You know, you know, go out there, you meet those those guys, and years later, they, they get a chance to go to UCF, and UCF is home. So it's crazy how that connection happened in 2018, and now it comes full circle. I get a chance to come home and, and work with these guys and work with a legendary coach and Coach Malzahn and get to learn on the T-wheel every day. And uh, it's, it's, it's just, uh, honestly, a, a great opportunity for me. Hey, Coach, how are you doing? This is Kyle Nash with the three-point conversion. Um, first of all, great way to lead off with the fans mentioning the A-Train. I know that'll get some positive yeah. vibes out there for you for sure. Yeah. But uh, with the fans in mind, um, not every fan is uh, aware um, that sometimes defensive lines get specialized like you guys are doing with this particular regime with the, with the beef and the tackles and uh, the edge rush getting their separate love. So from your perspective, and if you can uh, elaborate on the other guys, um, what advantage do you have in a more specialized approach in the coaching staff? Man, well, to split the defensive line is, is, is phenomenal for the guys. Get more position-specific drills, uh, get more position-specific game plan-wise, because again, being on the edge and being inside of two different worlds. Uh, to be inside, you gotta be able to take on the double teams. You gotta be able to be stout and strong inside. Uh, being able to create a pass rush from the interior, learning the depth of the pass rush, rush in the pocket. Defensive end wise, you have to learn a different kind of pass rush, rushing the edges, uh, being able to control the width of the uh, pass rush pocket. So just being able to be, work with Coach Ingram. First of all, Coach Ingram is a, a great coach, and I can't wait to work with him and learn up under him. And us meshing together and bringing those two, I, I think we'll have a special unit. But it's all, it all starts with Coach T. Will and allowing us to let the dogs loose. So I already know he will. Hi, Coach. Jonathan Alfano with NSM Today here. Um, Gus Malzahn has said a couple times recently about how much he values high school coaches. And you spent your first couple of years coaching at the high school level. What were some of the main things you learned during that time? Yep. So right out of right out of college, I became the defensive uh, co-defensive coordinator at my alma mater. I went to a Coy High School. Um, I worked for Del Salapa at the time and um, worked with um, Chip Petrie. And what I've what I've learned is I was I was put in a situation where I had to make sure I became a motivator, make sure I became a, 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 an older figure. I can't say father figure because I wasn't that old at the time. I was probably 23 or 24, but um, just learning how to grow relationships and getting the guys to trust you. Um, because at the end of the day, when guys trust you, they'll run through a brick wall for you. Um, and, and that's that's kind of the approach that I take as a as, as a high school coach, growing relationship with parents. You know, sometimes they'll be mad at you. Sometimes they'll love you um, based off of their son performances. So you know how to deal with those types of relationships. So I learned a lot on the high school level and I actually loved it. So I kind of brought that to college with me as well. 
Welcome, Kenny. It's Matt Rochelle from the Orlando Sentinel. Um, you talked about uh, Travis Williams and, and the impact of being defensive coordinator. What have you seen from him and what makes him kind of that up and coming rising defensive coordinator that we've seen? Energy. Energy. Okay. When, when I tell you he's, he is, he's the most energetic person in the building, I'm not lying to you. Okay. He, he, he brings it every day. And honestly, every time we in the, we're in a meeting or, or something, he, he, he makes sure every time you leave that you're motivated to do something. Um, and his knowledge of the game is impeccable. You know, he wasn't one of the best linebackers at Auburn for no reason. Uh, his, his knowledge of the game, his energy that he brings, uh, his knowledge of recruiting, I mean, he's bringing it to the whole staff. Uh, but he's, he's honestly a great guy for me uh, and for the rest of the staff to actually learn under, stay under, and, 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 and continue to grow a relationship with him because he's going to be something special. And I told him when I got the job, I said, man, we're going to make sure you become one of the best defensive coordinators in the country. Uh, all right. So, and, and I told him I'm gonna stick next to that and I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure we get that going. And I know he's ready to work with it and I'm, I'm ready to help him out. Coach Brandon Helwig again with Rivals.com. Obviously recruiting is so important to, to Gus and he yep. used the phrase, you know, you guys are gonna recruit like your hair is on fire. So <laughs> as a guy from Orlando and knows the importance and knows about the talent in the area and in this state, how important is that gonna be Especially for you, I don't know if they've ironed out who's going to have what territories or whatnot. But being an Orlando guy, how important is it to recruit the local area? Man, it's it's so important, man. It, there's so many dogs in Orlando. Yeah, you don't really have to go too far without without. If you go right up the street, there's there's guys right down the street that you can just go recruit, and they're right in our backyard. So if we put a fence around the state of Orlando, right? We call it the state of Orlando because we we want to put a fence around it. Can't let the dogs out. Hey, we gotta want them to stay and stay with uh, stay within and come play for the home team and let's let's make the home team a, a special place to be, which we will. Okay, and if they get out, they'll regret it. Okay, but <laughs> we'll make sure they stay close to home. All right, and then and then we'll venture out in, in the rest of Florida. But Florida's a, a, a wonderful place to recruit. Um, best athletes in the country. I'm being biased because I'm from here and I'm being biased because Orlando, but it's the truth. It's the best athletes in the country, I think. Coach, Jason Beattie with 24-7 Sports. You mentioned your opportunity previously at Auburn and said you went to Western Kentucky. How did that time there impact you as a coach? What did you learn? And just talk about your time at Western Kentucky. Yep, so um, Western Kentucky, I actually went to school at Western Kentucky. Uh, it's my alma mater. Um, had an opportunity to, to, to learn on, under, under three different head coaches, two different um, defensive coordinators. I was under two different systems. So not only did I have the time to, uh, you know, learn on all those guys, but I got a chance to learn two different systems. You're three down front, you're four down front, um, and, and also get a chance to learn uh, and meet great people. Uh, there's a lot of great people at Western Kentucky, uh, a lot of great coaches, uh, and, and honestly, a lot of great players. Uh, what we do is, okay, what we did up there, we recruited and, and, and grew the relationships that I do plan on continuing here at UCF but we grew the, the relationships with those guys. And I, I can't probably mention his name, but um, I had a guy that, that was uh, out of high school, didn't get all state um, one time, just to show you, tell you guys about my relationships with the guys. Um, I had a guy out of high school that I signed that didn't get all state. And he texts me, you know, he was very upset about it saying, you know, um, coach, they, they screwed me over. I, I didn't get all state, but I led the, led the state in sacks and TFLs. And I, I called him immediately. I said, man, when we get here, we. You're going to be more than all state. You'll be an all American at the end of the day. Um, and, and that was his goal. He came here and said, I'm going to work my tail off for you. And we're going to make sure we, we, we do everything we can to make sure we become an all American. And lo and behold, he put the work in and, and he became an all American. But that's all about the trust relationships. I tell the guys, man, once you set a goal, that becomes my goal. Okay, and that's and that's the message that I'll tell my guys as well. We're going to set goals here. We're going to dream big. and We're going to go after it. So that's that's the little backstory of Western. Hey, Coach Kyle Nash again with the three point conversion. Um, you got you coaches have been in the woodshed the past week, week and a half or so, getting ready for spring practice. What and you could obviously met with some of the players too. Uh, what is it you uh, would like to see happen, or do you hope to see happen when you step on that field for that first day of spring practice? First day of spring practice. Well, we're going to keep it simple at first because at the end of the day, you, we need to evaluate uh, the players. Okay. We want to give everybody a clean slate. We don't care about, um, you know, who started. Everybody has a clean slate because, again, we want to be able to evaluate you. 
and, and put you on there. We want to see guys flying around to the ball, have the put the ball down mentality, right? We'll put the ball anywhere in the parking lot and it, a practice field game, wherever we want to put the ball at. I want those guys to make sure we have that type of mentality. But again, it all starts with your coaches. I believe the, the, the coaches, the, the players are a direct reflection of the coach. You know, we bring that energy, our guys will bring that energy. But I, we expect the guys to hit the ground running. As um, soon as that ball is thrown, we're, we're rolling. Okay, we want to be a fast defense. We want to be a fast defense, and that's what we're looking for here. Coach Trey Strelko again, Sons of UCF. Last week, Coach Han talked about exploring the local food scene in Central Florida. Yeah. You're a local guy. What yeah. are the must-go-to places that you're going to tell him and the new coaches that they must stop by? Well, I I, I love, love y'all, as y'all can see, I, I do love my food places, okay? So uh, I, I'm, I'm going to take him. I'm going to take him, and I'm going to take my guy, uh, Kenny Ian, from my defensive end coach. We're going to go and eat, taste the town, okay? We're going to go taste the town. First first place I'm going to take him is to Tibby's. It's in Altamont Springs. It's Tibby's, uh, yeah, I see you clapping. It's Tibby's uh, New Orleans. Uh, it's one of my favorite restaurants. Every time I came down here to see my family, that's the first place I go. Before I even go see my mom, I go to Tibby's, all right? But um, that's definitely one of the spots. We're going to go to Fish Bones. I'll take him to a, a couple of um, – a hole in the wall, you know, barbecue spots that I got, you know, on my side of town. And, and yeah, we're going to get it in now. We're definitely going to get it in. <laughs> All right, last question from Matt. Kenny is Matt Michelle again from the Orlando Sentinel. Along those lines a little bit, you put up a video the other day, you guys running around on scooters, oh, riding yeah. around uh, on campus. What was that like? And you talk about building relationships with the players, but you guys as a coaching staff are, are kind of new together in some ways. What's that like building that relationship with your staff as well? But I'm, let me tell you one thing about this staff is it's, 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 it's very seldom that you get a staff that, that bonds right away. And every single time we're, we're in the defensive staff room, even the full, the, the full staff, uh, well, but we're in this specifically when we're in the defensive staff, we go on defensive field trips sometimes. Cause again, we're still new to the area. They're still new to the area. So again, we got to get out on campus. We got to go see the, see the, 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 the student population. We got to go see different buildings and, uh, it was actually Coach T. Wheels' idea. Let's let's get on these scooters, man. We we've been tearing up these shoes um, lately here, trying to walk around. And this is a big campus, so my 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 feet were hurting a little bit. So being on those scooters, man, it was a great time and great bonding experience. And I know it was a little dangerous with me um, having my phone on, but you know I I think I'm athletic enough to make sure nothing happens. <laughs> All right, thanks everybody. Awesome. Thank thanks you a lot, man. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Have a good one.